what is good what is good all my real ones welcome back to it gets real it's your boy be the flossy fisherman today we are in Melpitas, california hitting up walmart and if you can't tell by the shirt man we're going catfishing today and i ain't talking about that uh mtv show back in the day this is what i really look like but nah man we going catfishing uh, the East Bay Parks have just stocked catfish. It's on and popping and it's now summer and that's what the East Bay Lakes around here do. So we're gonna go get some bait because we can't hit the lake without getting some bait. And for our first bait that we're getting is right here. Man, have they gone up in prices. Woo. But that good chicken liver, Number two, we gotta get the classic night crawlers. But we gotta see what's up in here. Oh, yeah. Look alright. Chicken liver, night crawlers. Let's go. We got the bait. Now it's time to hit the lake. We're gonna utilize the two pole license today. One with night crawlers, the other with chicken liver. And we're gonna see what we can get oh man it's been so long man a long time since i've been here don castro Castro, man, I haven't been here in a minute. But I did stumble on a surprise, which I completely forgot that today is actually free fishing day in California. Uh, they have two days throughout the year where it's free fishing. So what that means is, although I have a license already, parks like Don Castro, where you have to pay for fishing for the day, you don't have to pay to go fishing save five dollars now I, I am all about paying that fee though because at these lakes where they do charge to fish there that money goes towards them stocking the lake so i never have a problem with supporting the lake so they can keep these lakes filled up for everyone to fish so there was a plant 620 600 pounds catfish let's go see all these big trout caught a seven three seven here and the place it was good during trout season uh today since it's a little cooler overcast there still might be some holdovers trout have been known to hit some night crawlers so who knows maybe we could hook up on another monster out here now, I don't know the last time they have stocked trout here, but given the hot weather that we had about a couple of weeks ago, I don't know if this lake is deep enough for them to stay cool like that during the summer season, but that's why they do not stock trout during the summer season. All right, so our setup that we're working with today it's a Carolina rig with the sliding. So I'm using a size two, two ounce coin weight, 20 pound monofilament leader, which is about two feet. We got a size three wide gap worm hook. We got our good night crawlers. That's what we're gonna set up on this one. Since I want something really to hit, we're going to put two of them on here. I want to make this irresistible. I want a catfish to see it and be like, oh, I want some of that. Today's weapon of choice is my Pan Pursuit 7 foot medium extra fast action. Two piece, 4,000 reel, 20 pound braid, the Pan Pursuit 3. You know, nice little pole for the lake. I'm using two ounce coin weight because there's really no current here so 
that's going to keep it in place just fine i want to make sure that i'm out the way of all these branches now we're going to get to the middle of the lake put a good bill on here first pole ready to go okay for our second setup we do have some of the chicken liver now i believe this is going to be the winner you know i did do a what's the best catfish bait test a while back like last summer and um the chicken liver is what won that's what eventually ended up catching fish we tried hot dogs we tried salmon belly shrimp worms i mean man we threw out all kind of stuff and ultimately what caught that catfish was the chicken liver and throughout my years of fishing find you can't go wrong with it uh, something about that bloody scent you know drives these catfish crazy you know they're attracted to the blood because uh blood worms are also a very highly effective bait i've found for catfish i've got a size one hook on here put some of this magic string real tight wrap it up as much as i can keep that hook exposed and the second weapon of choice for today is the ray rod blue lightning seven foot two piece medium power fast action got the 2500 daiwa legalis 10 pound braid it's a little lighter setup but hey that fight will be amazing we got both rods out nightcrawler on this one chicken liver on this one and now all about just waiting for that bite very calm very chill out here just a couple of fishermen here and there but for the most part it is pretty quiet just had a little nibble on this pole there is carp in here trout but uh that was a little some some. I think there might be bass in here. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, crawdad couldn't do that, so. Between a trout, catfish, carp, maybe. But the good old night crawler getting nibbles. Well, also a turtle could do that too. I haven't seen any turtles in here, but I know a turtle could have the ability to give it a good tugging like that see what it is y'all whatever it was it sure took a chomp they went in on this downsize the hook so going to a one-aught hook uh, Howard the duck in the house man what's up Howard Man, this thing was going off right now. He slammed it. They still have it though. That was a catfish fight. Oh yeah. Nightcrawler for the win. He pumping. Ooh. I know you don't want to get caught. <laughs> Coming with some strength at the end. Ooh. 
aggressive. This thing right. Come on, boy. Yeah. Nice kitty. Good kitty. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we on the board, y'all. No empty stringer today. Whew. You hear that? Ooh. Or just slap dirt all in my face. One on deck. That didn't take long. Just needed to downsize the hook. Ooh, that was a catfish the way he hit that pole slammed man all right let's get this set up again all right blast off cast off same area same bait so as i mentioned we're not getting no nothing off of the chicken liver but good old trusty night crawler and downsizing that hook that was the ticket for that fish right there. If something didn't seem right, man, about the hook size or your presentation, man, always, always, don't be afraid to switch it up, try something different. When I was using that bigger hook, I seen that that worm, both worms that I put on there would shoot up bad. I knew if I put a smaller hook on there, I'd have a better chance of catching something. Ain't nothing better than when I'm wearing the shirt and it actually happens, man. I got the catfish. But it's uh, three o'clock, been here maybe about a half an hour and the park don't close till 10. So we gonna ride it on out, man, and see how many more we can get, you know? Got hopes for a limit, which is five in California. Only got one tub of worms, which has 18, a count of 18. And um, that's what's working so far. So hopefully it doesn't take the whole tub of worms to catch five of these things but we got four more to go and i'm gonna wait it out if it takes till 10 o'clock guess what i'll be here till 10 o'clock but hopefully we don't have to do all that i haven't had a catfish bite in about a year because it was last summer uh the time that i did catch a catfish so it's good to feel that fight again he gave some tug action I knew that was a catfish bite the way that my pole slammed down. Surprisingly, no bites on the chicken liver though. That is kind of crazy to me, but we got some time. We got some time. We got seven hours. Y'all keep it locked. I think I may have spoke too soon about that uh, chicken liver. My bell didn't ring, but I seen some tug tug on that pole. If both baits work, we ain't gonna have no problems of running out of bait. I got a bunch of, bunch of chicken liver. Just two quick taps. Didn't even set the bell off, but it did. Boop, boop. But whatever it was, it's not a repeat offender. Uh oh, the night crawler just got hit again. Well, they put 600 pounds of catfish in here, so our chances are real good, man, in catching. Cause they are out here. Pole is just going off. Yeah, no bites. Hit it like you mean it, homebrae. Now that could possibly be a crawfish picking at the bait. Cause those taps are super subtle. Oh, that wasn't. That wasn't. That was a nice follow up. Okay. Got the bell going. A little maraca action. Yeah. Had them maracas going. Those ducks about to go on my line. Oh, he's seen it. Good duck, good duck. Find a way to go under. Oh man, that's a smart duck right there. He ain't even disrupt my line or nothing. What's going on with this thing, man? It stopped hitting. No more action. Going to 
see, man. Cause I feel like my stuff is gone now. It took my worm. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, we got something. We got something. We own. Another cat daddy. Come on in, buddy. Oh, yeah, you trying to fight? Catfish number two, y'all. Let's go. Dude, right by the skinny skin skin. He wasn't hooked crazy at all. Two cats on deck. Off the worm. Now, some years ago, I was out here and I have caught catfish here at Don Castro before and there was two but I couldn't stay because I had to go to work later on that day but I think I could have got my limit some few years back here all I need is one more catfish to break that record of that day when I caught two nice ones out of here man like a while like four summers ago man before I even had a YouTube channel let's see if we can make it happen man and at least beat that if not a limit we got some little nibbling going on again. I don't want to be camera shy. Got some little bites going, little bites. What happened? They're playing with me, they're playing with me, man. Oh, and that first catfish that hit was unmistakable it was like yeah we got one on but this little that second one was just little love taps like this and I had to reel it in just to see if my bait was there next thing I knew it was a fish so maybe that same Action should take place. And there is no fish on. But I gotta see if I'm got some bait. Or if we took my worm. Did take a piece of it. Hit and run. Instead of this chicken liver. So I got two tubs of worms. So I have a feeling we could end up in a situation of running out of worms. Trying to put one of these fat boys on here. I get no chicken liver love though. Fat worm? Could it get me a fat cat? Oh yeah, if I was a catfish, I would want some of that. Daddy on there. That's a Kim Kardashian worm right there. This one going. This one going. Get a nice little band on him. I thought this pole was going off too. Yep. He on. He tugging a little too much. This fella wrong. Or is he not? What? Oh, that's why I could have swore that fish was on. And yeah, he wasn't. That could look like a fish on. Man, got my hopes up. Got my hopes up. Sheesh. 
Boy, he slammed this thing. Okay, so it's been about an hour with no action and definitely nothing on the chicken liver. So I'm gonna go ahead, although I might run out of bait a lot faster, I'm gonna go ahead and put a worm on this rod as well. Since that's what they're hitting, they're hitting the worms. So I might as well just go all in on what's working. Worms is what they want. The worms is what they gonna get. Oh, that would be my other pole going off. Just had a little bite. Let's do what makes sense. Put all worms out there. Plus I am interested on in seeing how the fight would be on this lighter test. 10 pound test, lighter pole, ray rod. Just actually supposed to be a bass pole right here. But it does have enough backbone to be a bait and weight pole. Get him set up. See what's going on with this guy over here. See if it needs another worm or not. Turbo! See what's going on. Oh man, man, we all tangled up in the game. And my worm's still on there. Whole worm still intact. Nobody got time for that, boy. We got a fish to catch. Cool. Two worms out there. Let's go. Alright, y'all. So it has been a couple of hours. And just as I turned on to tell y'all that it's been a couple hours of no action, <laughs> I was getting tugged on over there, man. So, like I was saying, it's been a couple of hours, been at it. Um, only had two fish so far, had some missed opportunities. We're getting bites within that two hours, just like you seen, but nothing to stick. Oh, could that be fish number three? I'm not going to pull the trigger early because I did that the last time and there was no fish on. So I really want to make sure that this fish is really on there. Also using circle hooks. So, you know, once they're on, they're on. They set the hook on themselves when you're using circle hooks. So there's no hook set needed. I just want to make sure we get some more tugging action that that fish is on there for reals i'm just trying to break the record of three fish three catfish at this lake the last time i got two i had to leave early couldn't stay but right as the bite got popping i had to go to work i had to leave so i know for sure that day if i was able to stay i would have been able to crush them but it's not even five o'clock yet and the park doesn't close till 10 so got two poles out two chances two fish on deck if both of these get hit right now hey we're talking about one fish with about five hours to fish so yeah i think we can make it happen but the, oh, what that was a carp, little carp for show. And that's another thing about using night crawlers is carp could bite that, bass could bite that, catfish. I don't know if that was the wind or not that's pulling this down, but we are going to give it a check now. Gonna check and see. This fish hooked itself. It's not feel like it. Chances is that worm is gone. No, it's still there. The whole worm's still there. But what I do like, I'm noticing that there's not much muck at the bottom. The fish could actually see the bait and there's not mud or leaves covering the bait. You know, that definitely makes the bait a lot more visible. All right, it has now been like three hours got bites got a little bit of action but I also see that guy out there which i didn't see earlier but there's a comoron in the mix 
Not that that cormorant will be able to eat any of these catfish just because of the size, but you know, he could be disturbing and disrupting the bite. Oh man, and this is on the. Oh no! He got off? Are you kidding me? Wow, that's a heartbreaker. I could have sworn we had that. Come on! Sworn that boy was on. Boy, this thing was tugging. A little nibble nibble. Yeah. Bite down, chomp it, chomp it, chomp it. Fish on. Ooh. Just threw up whatever he was eating. Puked on me, man. Nasty. All right, we got that three, man. Took about three hours to get that third fish, but had missed opportunities, as I mentioned before. But that one, we did not miss at all got two more to go and that'll be a limit and this will be my first catfish limit ever which hey we still got plenty of time we got plenty of time to do it more than three hours to do it think it could happen so y'all stay posted man see if we get this coast my boy howard the duck again what's up dope Look at how calm this water has gotten. The wind is dying down. This water is super calm. These fish should have no problem locating the bait. Just got hit on that pole. Yep, 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 yep. Last worm, too. I like a good one. Oh, putting up a fight. Yeah, feel like a good boy. Nice one. No, no, now that was fish number four. Oh man, it hurts. Yes, it hurts. Uh, what? 
that was both poles right there. And I just turned this thing on. That gave a jiggle. That gave a jiggle. So we got him. Do we got him? I think this one's on. Nope. Boss him on. Got hit good though. Birds is out here really playing with the game, man. They just hit my line. Can't even tell if it's a fish or not. Just purposely hitting my line. Look at that. That's messed up, y'all. And now these birds is messing with my flow. Though we did not get a limit, I'm a no limit soldier today, but that's quite all right with me. I managed to get more than what I've ever caught here at Lake Don Castro. So I'm happy with that. Thank y'all for staying tuned and watching another episode of It Gets Real. Got some catfish, about to put them in the frying pan and have some catfish nuggets. My dad being from Oklahoma, man, like when I was a kid, catfish is the only fish I ate. And I thought that that was the only fish that existed because I ate so much catfish. So ain't nothing like a good old catfish fish fry. But if you're new to the channel and you like what you just seen, hit that sub button and that notification bell so you don't ever miss another episode of It Gets Real. Follow me on It Gets Real Fishing on Instagram and Facebook for the latest and greatest. Last but not least, hop on to itgetsreal.com and you can purchase some of this merch you see. The catfishing shirt, the good hat, snapback. Hey, we got what you need on itgetsreal.com. The freshest fishing apparel for real anglers. But till the next one, y'all be cool. Y'all be blessed. Peace. So I am happy with that. Lost a few. See, man, they playing with me. Oh, no, that's a fish. See, I can't tell. I can't fish under these conditions. Very hard to tell. That was a bird. Bird. Oh, that looked like a fish. Bird. I don't know. A couple of them tugs look like some fish. Well, just out of pure curiosity, these ducks have been coming up here, picking at my net, picking at the rope right there from my stringer. I uh, threw a piece of worm down there. They ate up that worm, but I got some chicken liver that ain't going to use. So I want to see if one of these ducks will come up here and eat it. See how daring these ducks are. She's going for it. They going for it. I don't think she liked the taste of it. <laughs>